Good morning and welcome to Pathway to Reform, the 2014 edition, the inaugural edition. My name is Grant Hall and I will be your host for the day. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute pleasure to be here before you today. Thank you for making the effort to be here and to be a part of this important conversation at this critical time in history. Today is the culmination of a huge amount of behind the scenes work by many, many good people. And we must acknowledge that because about six months ago we started to realise that something very special was going to happen today. And we sure have an action packed agenda for you. Incredible speakers, amazing experts and exciting debates. Plus I understand the food's pretty good too. Thank you for participating. This event has become way bigger and more important than we ever envisaged. The timing and the issues that we're all facing right now make this conversation extremely important. The Global Commission on Drug Policy said in 2011 that drug policy reform was the policy issue of our time. These are very strong words. That was also the same year that the New Zealand Law Commission came out with their report in 2011 that said we need to look at alternatives to prohibition to address the realities of contemporary drug use. It was a recommendation based on the best evidence and good science. And so it was a world first when the New Zealand government boldly chose to listen and act on the expert advice that they got and choose to regulate the legal highs industry. The goal of this new approach is something that we all share and that is to create better public health outcomes. And that's the common ground that we always have even with the most hardcore prohibitionists. So it was on July the 18th last year that 119 MPs to one voted to establish the Psychoactive Substances Act. Now the one MP that voted against it was John Banks. That's actually a vote for it if you think about that. <laughs> it was a world leading piece of legislation that has received significant interest from countries grappling with the very same issues New Zealand's had to deal with. And they're hoping that maybe New Zealand gets it right. So let's get started. <laughs> 